Today's tutorial is going to cover how to gather GPS coordinates for your jot form. This is really useful when you have a restaurant form or where you have an incidents recording form or any other situation where you need a GPS coordinate. Follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm, my name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to gather GPS coordinates with the JotForm widget. This is going to be extremely useful for incident reports, if you're taking deliveries with your form or other situations. Now, let's get started with this tutorial. Let's add a new form. Let's start from scratch, and for this we're going to use a classic form. And this is going to open up the JotForm builder. Okay. This is a job form builder. Let's get started by adding a few elements for this form. For let's just say, for example, we're going to add full name, email, address, etc. And now let's add that GPS widget. So let's go into widget section and we're going to search for GPS. Now there's several type of GPS widgets that might be useful for different situations. In this case, let me go ahead and add this one GPS location. And I'm going to add it down here. And this is going to open up the GPS location wizard. Now for this, we're going to need a Google Maps API key. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to get this right now. Now if you get if you head on over here, there's a little link on the bottom, we're going to go into click on go here. And this is going to give us a few instructions. And the idea is to go to the credentials page on Google. Now be aware that I am already logged in on the Google account. If you're not, please create a new account and log in. Now, what do we have to do? Let's go ahead and create a new project. So let's go ahead and create project. And let's name our project something that we can identify. In this case, I'll call it job form so I can identify it really easily. If you need to add it to an organization, just go ahead and choose browse and choose the organization that you have. In this case, there's no organization, we're going to create it just like this. All right. So right now it's starting to create it. Let's wait for that to load. There we go. It's just been created. Now let's get started by creating the credentials. So let's click on plus right here and we're going to need an API key. So let's click on that. There we go. The API has been created. Let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to jot form and add it here. Now be aware that it's not going to work yet. There's a few settings that we need to set on the Google site first. Let's update it so we can actually view the show mini map. So let's go ahead and add that there. Let's update the widget, go into publish and open in a new tab. So you can see right here that it's not going to work until we finish the setup. So this is a really common error that we're going to get. Let's go back into our credential section here on Google. Let's close this. And what are we going to need? Well, let's go back into APIs. And this is where we're going to add it. Let's search for a product because we don't have enabled APIs. For this, we are going to enable the Maps JavaScript API. So let's go ahead and enable that. There we go. It's been enabled and added to our enabled APIs. Now let's add another one, which is the Maps Embed API. Let's enable this. There we go. Both APIs have been enabled now, the Maps Embed API and the Maps JavaScript API. So let's go back into our job form. Let's go open in a new tab and let's see our maps. There we go. Now it's loading and it has detected my location. So if someone loads this on their phone, if they're opening a job form with the form that you've sent them, it's going to add the location. Now, in this case, there's a visible map because that's what we've added but we can change the widget settings. If we don't want to show the mini map, we just want the data for other purposes. So if you are having someone sign up for a delivery form, you want to make sure that they come from the right place, that it's not a delivery form from another country, another city, or if you are doing this for incident reports, you might want to know their exact locations and that's why you might want to enable this. Now there's some other settings that you might want to set here, which is enabled there. And there are, there's also the property settings for this. For example, the alignment, the label, the width, the required, the advanced section right here, and all those good stuff. Now there's other location widgets that we're going to be able to find. And there's, for example, location coordinates, geolocation, show map locations, and GPS locations. 
Now, the same would apply with the API key that we're going to need. Now, let's go ahead and load some of these really quickly. So for example, let's remove this one. Let's go ahead and add geolocations. And this changes a bit. For example, this is to collect location data based on the IP address. So this is not based on collect location data based on IP address. And again, we have the date, the, the, this is based on collecting location data based on IP address. And here are the settings for this. For example, coordinate precision, do we want something really precise or not? You can have the setting from five through seven, the default location that's optional and our Google Maps API key. Again, the one we ge generated, we added right here. So it's super easy to get started once you have the location maps with Google API. There's the show map location. Again, the setting for this, latitude, longitude, zoom level, address level, and again, our Google Maps API key. And we add that there, or we can also add custom CSS if we like. So right now you can see that these are not going to work unless we add the Google API key that we generated. So those are three widgets that you can use depending on your use case on your job form forms. And that way, once you've added the Google API key, you're ready to go and ready to use it. Well, we thank you all for watching this tutorial and we'll see you on the next ones.